your evening routine is more powerful than your morning routine. Here's what neuroscience reveals. What you do in the two hours before sleep determines your brain's ability to learn, remember, and solve problems the next day. Today, six evening routines that literally rewire your brain while you sleep. And the science proving why they work. Routine 1. The Workday Shutdown Ritual Here's the problem. Your brain doesn't have an off switch. You can't transition from work mode to rest mode in one minute. Most people collapse into their evening still mentally at work. You're physically present at dinner. But your brain is stuck in fight or flight mode. Sympathetic nervous system fully activated. Neuroscience shows our brains operate in 90-minute ultradian cycles. Without a shutdown ritual, you never actually leave work. Here's the solution. A 15-minute transition ritual. Close all work tabs and applications. Write tomorrow's top three priorities on paper. Not digital. Paper. Then take a 15-minute walk outside without your phone. This signals your brain that the workday is over. You must leave work before you can start your evening. This is the foundation for everything else. Routine 2. Digital Sunset Why are you tired all day? But wired at night? Your evening screen time is destroying tomorrow. Johns Hopkins research shows that blue light exposure within two hours of bedtime suppresses melatonin production by 50%. Melatonin isn't just a sleep hormone. It's crucial for memory consolidation. Screen stimulation directly impacts your hippocampus, the part of your brain responsible for forming new memories. When you're scrolling at 11 p.m., you're keeping your sympathetic nervous system activated when it should be winding down. The result? Less deep sleep equals impaired memory consolidation. Less REM sleep equals reduced emotional regulation. All screens off 60 to 90 minutes before bed. Phone. Laptop. TV. Tablet. Create a phone parking station outside your bedroom. Switch to reading a physical book. Light stretching. Or face-to-face -face conversation. 7 to 8 hours of high-quality sleep equals 20 to 30% better cognitive function the next day. Tomorrow's performance is built on tonight's sleep. Protect it ruthlessly. Routine 3. The Temperature Drop Protocol. Here's a physical trigger most people ignore. Take a hot shower to get cold. Your core body temperature needs to drop by about 2 to 3 degrees to initiate sleep. When you take a hot shower, your body responds by dilating blood vessels and radiating heat away from your core. This creates a rapid temperature drop afterward. This temperature change is a powerful signal that triggers melatonin release. More importantly, it enhances deep sleep. And deep sleep is when your brain's glymphatic system kicks into high gear. Think of the glymphatic system as your brain's waste removal service. It clears out toxins and metabolic waste that build up during the day. But it only works efficiently during deep sleep. Hot shower or bath 60 to 90 minutes before bed. Sleep in a cool bedroom. Ideally between 65 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Deeper sleep equals better brain detoxification, which means long-term protection against cognitive decline. Routine 4. Analog thinking time. Why do tech CEOs like Jack Dorsey and Bill Gates still use physical notebooks? Because the best ideas don't come from screens. Princeton research shows that handwriting activates the reticular activating system 40% more effectively than typing. Writing by hand engages your motor cortex, visual cortex, and comprehension centers simultaneously. This multisensory activation creates stronger neural pathways and better memory consolidation. Here's the insight. Digital tools are for execution. Use a physical notebook for end-of-day reflection and planning. Mind map on paper for complex problems. Take evening walks, without headphones, just thinking. This is how you process your day and prepare your mind for breakthrough insights. Routine 5. 
evening reflection. You don't learn from experience. You learn from reflecting on experience. Yale research on metacognition, thinking about thinking, shows that people who regularly reflect on their day improve decision-making accuracy by 23%. And here's the connection. Analog thinking from the previous routine is how you do evening reflection. 10 to 15 minutes before bed, ask yourself four questions. What went well today? What could I have done better? What did I learn? What's the one priority for tomorrow? Mental review, written journal, or voice notes doesn't matter. Just make it consistent. This creates a feedback loop of continuous improvement. Over years, this is the difference between stagnation and exponential growth. Routine 6. Curate your social environment. You become the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So who are your five? Harvard's 80-year grant study, the longest longitudinal study ever conducted, found that quality relationships are the number one predictor of life satisfaction and cognitive health. Your brain has mirror neurons that literally mimic the people around you. Their habits, thinking patterns, emotional states. Intelligence isn't just individual. It's social. Smart people curate their social environment as deliberately as their information diet. Evening is prime relationship time. Have dinner with intellectually stimulating people. Deep conversations over small talk. Discuss ideas, not just events or gossip. Before committing evening time to someone, ask, does this person make me better? Not just, do I enjoy their company, but do I grow from being around them? Most people waste evening time on TV. Intelligent people invested in relationships that compound. Six evening routines. They're all about recovery, processing, and preparation. While everyone else is grinding until they collapse, intelligent people are architecting their evenings for tomorrow's advantage. Your evening routine isn't just about today. It's about who you become over time. Shut down from work intentionally. Disconnect digitally. Prep your body with temperature. Think analog. Reflect deliberately. Choose your people carefully. These aren't luxuries. They're how you build a brain that gets sharper with age instead of duller. Start with one. Maybe it's the digital sunset. Turn off screens 90 minutes before bed tonight. Maybe it's the shutdown ritual. Just 15 minutes to transition out of work mode. Your brain rewires itself based on what you do consistently. Evening routines are how you program tomorrow's performance today. You saw the morning routines. You saw the evening routines. Now you have the complete system. The question is, Will you use it?